Please like and subscribe for more tutorial for beginners. New videos every day. Right? Similarly, we can go on product pages. Right? So this is how the product is going to look when someone finds it. Here are different variations. Customer can select variation and this was automatically or imported from AliExpress, right? And I can see that definitely the information over here needs to be edited. And just below that you can see that automatically it's providing suggestions to our other products. I think the related products, these are same things getting copied over here. And I would like to remove one of these, right? So I'm going to re remove this option. Click on save. You may also like, looks good because the person has the option to scroll and look at more products by themselves right you can edit the description of the product as per your ease I'm not gonna do any changes to it let's go on testimonials which is at the bottom side so in this testimonial part there seems to be free testimonial I loved their product word on time so I personally prefer that you have some actual feedback from your customers so I personally prefer that that's the first priority but if you don't have it let just let it be author right similarly you can edit more testimonials over here so I won't change these this is something I'm not gonna focus on. I think a store is almost developed and we are ready to advertise. But make sure you fill in all the information that is required, right? So after that, after you have done almost every single thing, click on checkout. Okay, click on advanced settings. You can see on the top hand side, top bar, free shipping, free returns, free shipping, plus free returns. And I'm going to paste I'm going to link this to one of our pages, shipping and return policy. I'm going to click on show it's a announcement okay everything looks good I'm not going to change anything and I'm going to click on save right you can also go on typography you can change it according to your need you can go on colors the background is white the headings are black, they look good. The editor is black and white, looks good. Announcement is black, text is white. So you can change all of these according to your need. Alright, everything looks good. And as you can see that as I scroll down automatically the color in the background changes. Right? If you see any error on the website, you can definitely fix it. But I think this looks good. Let's do a little bit change over here. Okay, you can see now it's comparatively looking. Okay, I'd like to keep it small on mobile. For desktop, let's keep it medium. Let's just keep it large. It looks okay in this way as well. 
let's click on save think we are good to go now let's do a preview of a website let's click on this option of shopify <laughs> 